One of the most common questions asked is what settings I use and what specs my computer has. Well, here's a short video explaining my graphics settings, showing my setup, and a little chitty chat about reshade. First off, in game I have everything on very low except textures, which is an ultra. This makes the game look pretty good while still having all the advantages you get with lower settings. Let's clear a few things here. Even though your view distance is on low, you can still spot enemies just as far out as with Ultra. View distance only has impact on trees very fucking far out. The good thing about having it on very low is grass and wheat fields they don't load in at about 200 meters out. Which is fucking stupid not have and use, right? With everything on very low, you get the advantages of targets being a bit more flickery on far distance, making them easier to spot. Now I know some may be thinking, but you're a YouTuber, you have to have everything on Ultra. Well, no, because I want to play to win, and <laughs> I want the advantages too. If I had a beast PC with no lag in performance, then yeah, maybe I would run everything on Ultra. But I feel like my videos look just fine for now, and that's kind of why I'm sticking with it. I hope you feel the same way. Now for the specs of my little baby girl, which are shown here. Now, the 3930K still kicks ass even though it's about 6 years old, I believe. It's not worth buying anymore even though it's just a tiny bit less powerful than the 7700K. Which is fucking insane considering it's that old. It was made for a special chipset and those motherboards are just so fucking expensive now that it's not worth getting. To get started with YouTube, I invested in a 1070 Evga graphics card, which does the job for now. If I someday ever become a partner on Twitch, I will not only have to upgrade my entire PC, but move to a new house with a new location. As currently my bitrate is only good enough to stream the perfect amount for non-partnered streamers. Now, I haven't started streaming yet, but it'll come. It is also important that you have a solid amount of RAM when you play PUBG. And a good idea to have it placed on your solid state drive too, to prevent any loading issues. I use Reshade only to have Technicolor available. You can download it here on Reshade's website. When you're installing it, if you want to use it the way that I'm using it, you can take off all the other boxes except for Technicolor. That way you won't have to waste 30 seconds each time you load up your game. Loading the different packages will take a longer time. Now, some people like to use Sharpen too, I don't use it but feel free to mess around with it. If you need any further distance installing this and using it, you can find a guide for it here on my channel called Reshade plus Technicolor. 